WEIU is here for you with fresh new local programming weekdays beginning at 5.30. Each night kicks off with the Emmy Award winning News Watch. On Mondays, learn more about the people and issues important to our community with Issues and Attitudes. Then at 6.30, Veterans Matters discusses information and issues for veterans and their families living in East Central Illinois. ROTC stands for Reserve Officer Training Corps. Basically, our mission is to train future leaders and officers for the United States Army. Um, our program is a hands-on leadership training um, over four years of college. There are other options, entry options that you can select, but um, we mold and teach leadership skills, communication skills, time management skills, and basic Army skills. Tuesdays, Being Well gives timely information and advice related to living a healthy lifestyle through nutrition, fitness, and overall health. Your blood pressure is 106 over 60. That's very good. And the top number of your blood pressure indicates when your heart squeezes, what we call systole. And that usually is related to high blood pressure, which is uh, and, to, and to heart disease. So that's good. And your bottom number, 60, is also very good. So. That's a time when your heart is relaxed and when your coronary artery is actually filled. Just to let you know, the top number for, for blood pressure should be less than 130. Actually, the National Committee considers anything less than from 120 to 130 to be normal, greater than 130 to be abnormal. And certainly greater than 140 without risk factors is considered to be high blood pressure. So if for you, no risk factors, the blood pressure should be kept less than 130 or starts increasing the risk. In years past, high blood pressure was oftentimes considered to be much higher in the 160s, but as we've now brought that number down, the incidence of coronary disease has decreased and the incidence of heart attack has decreased. Hobbies, crafts, and collectibles brings the collection of people from central Illinois right into your living room. I love this job. I get to meet the most interesting people. And today I've got Les Edwards here from Shelbyville, Illinois. And he has a wonderful collection. You, you have small cars, you have big cars. Les, tell me, what do you have? I have, yes, I have <laughs> the big cars and I have the little cars, several of them. <laughs> yes, you do, it's wonderful. Um, now you have, uh, we're gonna show the audience some pictures of some of the actual cars that you drive around. But okay. explain the little cars, these aren't necessarily models, some of them are actually um, what I would call a premium that you would have received when you purchased a car? Yes, that back, right? yes, that is true. Um, it, more of these cars, uh, most of these are in the 60s. So when you bought a new car, and many of them are Chevrolet models, uh, they would give to you a model of the car that you purchased. I see. So these are like 1 25th size of the real car. So some of the ones that I have, I have the real one set in hole in my car box. <laughs> I love that. Wednesdays, Panther Sports Talk brings you interviews with EIU coaches, game highlights, and feature segments on EIU athletics. My, both of my parents, they were athletes. My mom played volleyball in college. My dad played baseball in college. And they both, they both really emphasized to me when I was growing up that being able to play, to be a versatile athlete is probably more important than being able to really, really focus on one thing because it's, I mean, if I'm not doing well volleyball hitting wise, I've still got the back row to, to pick my game up. And if I'm not able to hit well for softball, then I'm able to pitch or play first base as well as best as I can. So it's really, I mean, I'm, I'm so blessed with my athletic ability. And I then at 6.30, Heartland Highways travels the highways and byways in search of unique people, places, and destinations. Thursdays at 6, film historian Dan Cruz takes you back to the days of matinee cowboys as we bring you Western classic movies on Tumbleweed Theater. And Fridays, News Watch In Focus takes an in-depth look at the hot local news topics of the week that are important to our region. Mayor Inyert, can you tell us a little bit about your perspective and kind of what's going on on the square in Charleston? Well, we have uh, a lot of exciting things going on up there, as you know. We have some new stores up there, another new restaurant up there. Um, what we're seeing is, a, is kind of a product of the, of the restoration that's been going on on some of the buildings and the continued upgrade of those facilities. 
At 6.30, the Four Rivers Ag Report provides weekly news, information, and features about agriculture and rural lifestyles. With corn and soybean so prevalent, why alternative crops? Well, alternative crops are uh, possibly a way to, for farmers to, traditional row crop farmers, to expand and diversify their operation. Uh, might reduce their financial risk, uh, adding a little bit of uh, income um, as a way to um, uh, expand their, their market. WEIU, here for you and bringing Central Illinois more local programming than ever before. For more information, visit our website at weiu.net or watch the shows online anytime at youtube.com slash weiutv.